All right. Hello, buddy. Welcome back. Uh, took a few minutes and uh, wanted to relax for a bit. And, uh, just, just jump up the tree. Yes, completed it. No, go. Like, go. Follow you, Jason. What does that say? The darkness is... And the darkness controls the Taken. Wow. I wouldn't have gotten that from the other 50 messages you've placed on the walls. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Don't you dare. Okay, you know, I'm just gonna cut through. Cause I already know that they're gonna spawn crappy enemies and be like, ooh, look at these. Look at this, this is amazing. Look at this. We got enemies chasing after you. Isn't this scary? No, it's annoying. <laughs> One of the things that I don't like about horror films is just they keep going and going and going and going. What the heck was that? I, I'm pretty sure we've just missed four notes at the. Oh, no, we did not. Wow. Oh my god. What? How many pages are. Okay, this is going to be a long playthrough. Sarah trusted her gut, and her gut said Agent Nightingale was an asshole. He felt wrong, <laughs> and it wasn't just the smell of stale booze. It was in the way he flashed his badge, pulled rank, the look in his eyes when he wanted answers. Where was Alan Wake? What was this about an accident? Where was his wife? And most importantly, why did she let Wake go? He wouldn't answer her questions. Federal business was all he'd say. Hold on, sorry. It's, it's messaging someone. Uh, what? Nightingale stared through the broken studio window into the dark woods. He turned around, started to walk out, but Maine grabbed his arm. Young man, you almost shot me. You don't shoot off rounds at people like that. What's the matter with you? Nightingale shook his arm free, marched out. His cheeks burned with rage and humiliation. <laughs> at least they like question mark like, oh, you haven't read this, which I could have sworn we had read that, but my bad. We didn't have time to read it because of all the crap that was happening. Alright, game, I forgive you. Somewhat. Hello? Hello? The most stubborn man I've ever met. Alice? Alice? Alan. Alan. I'm so afraid. It keeps me in the dark. Please help me. I look at you, Alan, and it's not you. It's something else. Looking out from behind your eyes. Alice, I'm here. I'm so alone here. It's all gonna go to hell. You need to be careful. Cooperate. The connection had been terrible, but that wasn't the only thing that hadn't been right with the call. She sounded wrong somehow, but she had called me. Alice, what, what the, what the damn? What, what the damn was that? I don't understand. Wow, that's literally just a white line. <laughs> or not a, a yellow line. Just like, yeah, it's that way. Also, uh, connection, obviously demons. Obviously she's in the Black Lodge. That's what's happening right now. She's in the Black Lodge. Hey. Oh, shoot! That actually scared me. Ow. Oh. Oh. Run away, run away, run away like a scary little girl. Run away like a scary little girl. Hey, did I shoot you at least once? 
No? Okay. Cowboy of the West. It's high noon. I could see a railway bridge up ahead and a warehouse of some sort on the opposite shore. I hoped I could find a car from there. What a be just beautiful physics engine. But yeah, I was like, did the plank of wood really just like hit me? Follow. Ah, clearly it doesn't want me to follow here. Plus I also didn't get the obvious follow from just like, hey, there are no other paths to take. Just take this one. Oh, I thought the thought the barrel was possessed for a second, my bad. Okay, then that's possessed The darkness too. that was pursuing me was growing stronger, and it was taking over everything in its path. Or how? Maybe because you're riding it that way? What am I talking about? Oh, shoot, get the heck out. Darkness. Oh my gosh. I gotta get out of here. This is, this is, oh, what? A Okay. Sure. Yeah, sure. I hoped I could find a car from there. <gasps> Barrel, I didn't mean it. Barrel, please. Pick me up. Barrel. Barrel, no. Barrel! I had an emotional backstory with Barrel. It looks like I would sadly join him. <laughs> sure. I hoped I could find a car from there. So screw you, Barrel. Alright. Time to go, time to go, time to go. You know, I just realized something that's like, you know, I don't even want to mention him. All right, um, so this is gonna break down obviously, right? And then the darkness is gonna be like, oh, where's Boogie? Booga Boogie. Booga Booga. If I just run. The darkness that was pursuing me was growing stronger, and it was taking over everything. Sure. I hoped I could find a car from there. You want to finish your monologue uh, before you die? Yeah, that's cool. Alright, third attempt, guys. Don't worry. This is going to be smooth as ice. But not like that horrible rapper that people like for some odd reason. The darkness that was pursuing me was growing stronger, and it was taking over everything wow, in Wow, that its board sure did scare me. Okay. That's possessed. Ow! Item still obviously possessed. Oh, ow! I don't have enough powers. I need to level up my mage. Oh my god. Come on. Okay, I'm out of here. Okay. Alright, not cool. Not cool, Dave. Not cool. Uh, I feel like that's. Ow. I was right. It actually did hit me. Are we safe? Are we cool? Are we are we good? Are we off the record? Are we scot free? Are we clean free? We're clean as a whistle? Wake in the dark presence in the It's gotta be the Black Lodge. It's the Black Lodge. I I'm slammed calling the door it right shut now. right in his smug face. He pleaded for me to open the door. True to form, the asshole actually thought I would obey. I had no sympathy left. No guilt either. Not for him. I took a moment to savor the scream. I bet I had a smile on my face. It was all that I had time for. The dark presence was inside the lodge with me. I'm calling it right now. I'm calling it right now. It's, it, has, it has to be the, the Black Lodge. Somehow, 
The Black Lodge got in. As a teenager, to Alan Wake's just starting to get interested in writing, Stephen King had been a source of inspiration to me. I thought about all the inanimate objects that had come to life in his books. No one is safe in a good horror story, certainly not the protagonist. That's what makes them fun. This was anything but. The darkness could possess anything, and it was getting closer. Really? Uh, Stephen King? Alright, I guess if you like him. It's, it's not his movies. I mean, I never read any of his books, but... Heavy duty flashlight? Well, heck yeah! It's an upgrade. <laughs> wow, the heavy duty flashlight is just a few inches longer. Okay, yeah. Sure, that's how it works. <gasps> Coffee. I feel like that should give you a power up somewhat. It should just be like, yeah, you get more health. Sure, whatever. Just like as soon as you find a certain amount, it should give you health. Like there should be a reason to collect them than just being like, eh, it's an achievement. I mean, it's all really all we have to do is just achievementize it, you know? Achievementize. That's what I'm gonna call things that don't really need to be achievements or could make achievements better, but then they just make them achievements. Achievementize it. I feel like there's something that might ha- like, someone will take that out of context. This gate's gonna be possessed, isn't it? Of course. Did you call 911? Yeah. I call 911 and you- Douchebags! Hold still. Ah, I beat in you. Wait, those things explode? Shoot. Nah. Oh, shoot. I want to go with the cool ending. Gotta go with the lame ending. That was lame. Lame endings are always lame. Alright, let's head back in here. Uh, oh, come on. Stop with the... Ooh, spooky. Ooh, spooky. Oh, shit! I didn't know I was playing Resident oh. Evil. Oh, come on. <laughs> yeah, I saw that coming this time. Flare. Oh, bollocks. Come on. And your possessiveness. Ow! Stop being a douchebag! Oh my gosh. People in this game are such douchebags. Ah. Uh. Serious. Okay. Isn't there? Wasn't there another one? Pretty sure there was another one. Oh well. There's nothing here. Great. Fantastic. Well, hold on. In light, you can hurt them. Oh, thanks for telling me that now game. I would have never guessed. You know, you're just the best. You're just, you're simply the best tutorial system I've ever, I've ever seen. It's like, really? You wouldn't, you, I wouldn't have guessed. I wouldn't have not guessed. All right, let's watch some spooky take the tales. Our existence St for tales. Granted, tales. Unaware that they are merely a thin veneer of desperate self-delusion, 
covering a vast cosmos of madness and horror. All too often, the stars are right in Night Springs. Tonight's episode, A Family Occasion. Journalist Alvin Durlis' trip to study the local customs of an insular community in Night Springs has been less than successful until tonight. Well, I'm glad you changed your minds about this. Ancient customs, local mythology. My editor loves this kind of stuff. Well, Mr. Durlis, we don't want to feel like we're on exhibition. But you have demonstrated the seriousness of your intent. Oh, I am serious. Really, just do your thing. I'll stay out of your way and observe. Actually, I thought you could assist us. I'm afraid we are a man short. It would provide you with an intimate perspective. Could this I is a like porno, this course, isn't it? Mr. Durlet. Well, I guess that's the least I... What would I have to do? Oh, here. Let me show you with a kiss. This I, is a uh, porno. Mm, mm, this is a porn. <laughs> Mm. This is porn. This is porn. What, what did you do? Oh, Mr. Durlet, you have well pleased Nixie Perka, the dweller in flesh. Your body shall host his thousand young, and all shall be glory. <laughs> Shh, darling, be calm. The weirdest Alvin Durlet learned a harsh lesson. If you go looking for mythology, it may come looking for you. And such quests always bear fruit. In Night Springs. As the that is the just the weirdest satanic porn I've ever seen. Alright, moving on. Hello. We would know. Cool. And there were a few that we missed, actually. Yes, there were. The pipe wrenched itself loose from the bridge's steel framework. Wrapped in darkness, it floated in midair, twitching. For a moment, I didn't understand what I was looking at. The heavy object lurched at me with impossible force. I threw myself out of the way, but just barely. When I turned my flashlight on it, it shook in a dark rage before it flew at me again. Well, that's not nice. Uh, still going, jeez. The darkness surged towards me, sucking everything loose from the ground into its depths, tugging at my clothes. I saw the flare the kidnapper had dropped and threw myself towards it just as I felt my feet leave the ground. The darkness embraced me with the force of a tornado. Somehow I managed to light the flare. The darkness roared and cast me away. I fell toward the dark waters of the lake far below. Wow. Amazing. Alright, well, let's get down there, guys. Whoa. Whoa, oh, cool. Please, not one of these things again. Please, can you just... Just one night or day without this stuff. Like, come on, oh my god. Oh, come You even added these guys? Oh my gosh. Not. Just it's not. Flare. Flare it all. I'm a mage. <laughs> and Alan Wake was never seen again after that night. Because he died to a bulldozer. <laughs> a possessed bulldozer, my bad. Such a threat? I don't know. Might as 
well get the players. Enjoy the winter cold nights. There's a player there. Oh, come on. Really? Guys got him. Can I give me better revolvers? Oh, shoot! Ah, you're a stupid truck. Not gonna rage. Not gonna quit. Gonna play the game. Playing the game. Not gonna pour Laura Croft. Here we go. Of this cutscene. Street line to the gate. Turn it on. Blow up the flare. Scare everybody away. I don't know when. I don't know where. Press the gosh darn button. It's right there. Stay back now. We're all cool. We're all professionals. Oh god. Guys, we're all cool here. I'm just going to run the balls away. Yay. I did it. I've never been this glad to see the sunrise. I had a couple of hours to get to the coal mine. And we'll make it. Hopefully. The coal mine wasn't far now. Thumbnail. Still a thumbnail. More thumbnails. And a thumbnail. What? Okay. All right. Today, I, keep I would meet the kidnapper, and he would give me Alice. I wouldn't give him any other choice. A drowning man will clutch at a straw. A drown. What? Wait, can I should probably take the car? Can't I take the car? Yeah. Why don't? Why would I leave the... Oh my gosh. I imagine someone did little that, little, and I feel so bad for them. I'd come to believe that the story in the manuscript was coming true. The current of its narrative had taken me deeper and deeper into dark waters. Alice had been taken from me. Barry was probably in jail. I was a fugitive from the FBI. The whole world taken over by the dark presence was trying to destroy me. It all felt real, but it matched a textbook case of insanity. Yeah, because you're you're writing it. That's the plot twist here, is that in order to try and save your wife, you're writing a story, so you write yourself. Wait, is there? Is that what I think it is? If that's seriously what I think it is. I'm gonna be so pissed. No. Nope. Thought there was a blue can up here. There isn't. Let's take a different car. Let's, you know, let's off-road it. You know, let's, let's try different cars. We got, like, keys to everything somehow. I actually didn't even check this one. Is there even anything here that I can get? Nope. Okay. Let's get back in the car, everybody. Waste of your time. I don't want to end the video just yet, due to because I think we're about to, like, uh, start something here, like, end it, I guess, in a way. Like, we're about to end, like, wrap up in a sense. Oh, I could have jumped it. That would have been cool. Is there... Okay, hold on. No. Hold on. There's probably something around. Just enjoy my terrible driving mechanics, guys. Don't worry. Horrible, horrible driving mechanics. 
This car has the worst turns I've ever seen. Oh. I'll take the family car, thank you. Not the, look at this, I'm cool. I'll take the non-cool car, thank you. This is Pat Main, and you're listening to KBF FM. Folks, I want to apologize for kind of abandoning you to that looping music track last night, but I was detained. You see, I encountered a big shot G-man with an itchy trigger finger who could use a, a lesson in manners and a boot in the ass, not necessarily in that order either. Now, folks, I know I'm not being very informative here, and I apologize for that. I really should just keep quiet, but I'm just so peeved right now, because some people just shouldn't be carrying badges. And I'm just glad that our Sheriff Breaker was there to straighten things out. And if someone I met last night is listening, let me just say, I'm sorry if my mouth got you in trouble. I'm pretty sure you're not the bad guy here. Godspeed, son. I hope you know what you're doing. Now, on a lighter note, I'll be talking to Dr. Nelson all morning. But first, a little music. Alright. Could you put on some Queen at some point? Like, come on, man. I need some Queen. Put some under, uh, put some under pressure in there. I'm, I'm feeling under pressure right now. Like, the whole world is against me. And you're probably the only... Like, you and the Sheriff are probably the only sensible people in this world right now. Like, seriously. Who thinks a tornado just happens randomly? Hold on, wait, was there something there? No, okay. That wasn't even my fault! I didn't even do anything! I- oh my gosh. Yeah, you know, everything's my fault. Yep, totally. That's how life works. Everything is my fault. Let's just keep driving up the hill, guys. Oh, this is a beautiful hill. I love it. Just look at it. So nice and peaceful. Give me back to a time where things were nice and peaceful. Oh my gosh! Wait, is that? It's not exactly it, but okay. I was about to say like that's one of the few car. I, okay, note to self. Uh, no, the hood's hood's not long enough. That's the problem with that. Hood's not long enough. Still uh, an alright car, but I don't like the orange, and it's not the hood's not long enough. I need a longer hood. Oh my god, oh my gosh, we're gonna get more. Welcome back to KBF FM. Hope you enjoyed that tune. Now, Doc, you were talking about life and finding that special someone, that soulmate. Well, you were talking about that. I was saying I don't buy it. <laughs> well, see, to me, that's strange, because I always pegged you as a hopeless romantic. <laughs> you got me there, Pat. But I think love's where you look for it. And you need to do a lot of looking, sure. But the idea that there's that one special person out there for you, and if you miss that chance, it's gone forever and you're forever incomplete. I mean, isn't that depressing? Or, heck, childish even? Hey, there's plenty of fish in the sea. <laughs> and apparently a fisherman has a fishing analogy for everything, but <laughs> what you're saying, isn't that a little harsh? Well, no. What I am saying is that your potential for finding that connection isn't limited to what's essentially a chance encounter. How is that harsh? Yeah, well, I guess that's a nice thought, but let me say something personal here. Okay. Now, well, I, I don't disagree with you exactly, but I can't really fit that together with what I feel, what I, what I felt for someone, because she was the one. She was. And she... I let her drift away from me. Maybe I didn't put in the work, I don't know, but... Well, since then, and it, it was a long time ago, but, but since then, there hasn't been anyone. Not like her. And I'm not saying I dwell on her or haven't moved on. I like my life. I, I'm not living in the past. But I do miss the way she completed me. You can't argue with the heart, Pat. Uh, I'm sorry, folks. I had kind of a scary experience last night, and let's just say it's shaken a few things loose. Wow, I, I totally know how you can feel, you know? Like, I just, I didn't put the work, I haven't put enough work in my wife in this game. You know, when I get to where I'm going to tell her, like, hey, you know, hon, I've been trying to save you this whole time. I feel like I love you. And, you know, I listen, I was listening to this radio show on the way of saving you. 
And it just made me realize, like, how much I love you, right? And you know what she's going to say? She's going to be like, why were you listening to a radio sa station and not helping me? Do you realize how stupid that is? You should be saving me instead of listening to instead of listening to a radio about like, oh, you know, I, uh, I think that special someone isn't limited. But, oh, no, I think that, uh, I think there's always that special someone. Oh, no, blah, 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 blah. Like, why? <laughs> <laughs> I just realized, like, how pissed off she would be if I said that. Like, hey, you know, I was listening to radio uh, while I came up here, and I just feel like I haven't put on enough work. Really? You think so? Yeah, oh, it's got a nice handle. Got a nice handle on it. Got a nice handle. Okay, slow down. Slow down. Making a stop here. We're making a stop here. I guess if I really wanted to, I could cut this out and put in the other video, but I'd rather... Let it keep running. Alright. Is there anything worth getting in here? Apparently I don't have my flashlight again. I can only have that during nighttime. That totally makes sense. Because you don't need to see anything in the daytime. Many people are going to be like, What an idiot. Why? There's, there is sunlight. Why would he need a stupid flashlight for the daytime? Look. There are just some things that you can't see. Oh my gosh, what the heck? We are not... Okay, I don't think we're done yet. 